Welcome to Anthropological Survey of India, Andaman and Nicobar Regional Center, Kolbir. Our Zonal Anthropological Museum is celebrating International Museum Day 2023 this year. Every year, International Council of Museum, along with the other museums throughout the world, celebrating International Museum Day. This year, the theme of the International Museum Day is Museum Sustainability and Wellbeing. The Zonal Anthropological Museum, Kolbir is one of the prominent attractions of tourists for both foreign and Indian nationals. On an average, this museum receives an annual footfall of around 60,000 visitors. This museum is very unique in the country, depicting the stories of multiple facets of the tribal lifestyle in the Mount and Nicobar Island. The museum is housed more than 800 accessible objects which are very rare, belonging mainly to the six tribes of the island and a few collections from the recent settlers. On the auspicious occasion of the International Museum Day 2023, we will now go into the journey of this unique museum. So friends, let's have a look. Since the establishment of this uh, regional center in the year 1951, anthropologists working in these organizations have been continuously collecting ethnographic objects as a part of their scientific study. So the museum is distributed over three floors, including the ground floor. Now we are we are standing here in the ground floor. The journey of museums starts from this particular discipline and here we used to narrate about the distribution of the tribes of Naman and Nicobar Island and by using the model of the map. The museum caters information on various aspects of the life of the tribes of Andaman and Nicobar Island it focuses on the biosocial evolutions, the history, social organizations, architectures, means of communication and transport, the art and craft, etc. Their collections of the Jaruas are exhibited in the in our Journal Anthropological Museum, and it is really worthy for the tourists who come over here and who are not going to the Jarova area and see the uh, population and their artifact. Jarovas have three types of habitation. One is temporary, one is semi-permanent and permanent. Here we glimpse the semi-permanent hut and the semi-permanent hut is in this shape where nine, seven, eight to nine families reside together in a band group. And uh, this is a cross-sectional of a band, uh, Java habitat, semi-permanent hut. The Great Andaman is for the hunter-gatherer tribes of Andaman Nicobar Islands, uh, belonging to the Negrito racial stock. They are right now residing in the Strait Island. So the Jewel Anthropological Museum is having many objects and artifacts of Great Andamanis. One among them, which is the rarest of the Great Andamanis, is Bumau. The Bumau is a concave convex shaped wooden musical instrument used during the ceremonial dance. A rhythmic sound is produced by stamping feet on it by the male folk while the women join the chorus. The Onges are one among the tributaries of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It is reported that they are settled in Dubong Creek area of Little Andaman. Presence of body painting in different geometric shapes and designs uh, made by white clay, red ochre, and lard is one of the significant feature of this group of people. Uh, among various activities, honey collection is the main activity of this group of people and it uh, occurs generally during the month of January to April. This is a honey collection bucket. This wooden container is used for collecting and storing honey by the onges. A thin layer of wax is applied all over the surface 
to fill up the crack and smoothing the surface. Can strips are tight for strengthening the bucket and a string is attached for carrying purpose. The sentinel is a group of primitives who inhabits in not sentinel island in Andaman group of island of Bay of Bengal. It is reported that they are live in complete isolation in North Sentinel Island. That's why we call them as Sentinels. Coming to the Nicobaris, the Nicobaris are the southern tribe community of the Nicobar group of islands. They live in the southeast corner of the Bay of Bengal. The Nicobaris people depend on traditional economic activities such as pig rearing, coconut plantation, etc. They are also highly skilled or we can say master in the crafts of medicine. As a part of the new initiative, the Zonal Anthropological Museum installed one traditional hut of the Nicobaris group of islands. This particular hut, it is from the Chaura Island and which they call as the Hubun. It is installed and it is erected by the active engagement of the, the Nicobaris people from the Chaura Island. And this particular exhibition, it is open for the visitor in the month of January 2023. So we will have a look, we will have a glimpse of the house. The Shampenok, Great Nicobar Island, is also a PVTG in India. They live in dense tropical rainforest in Great Nicobar Island. Like other tribes, Shampenok also rely on natural resources uh, for their livelihood. They prepare several items from their locally available natural resources, such as bark clothes, containers, and also several hunting items, which they made from trees and other materials. So, my dear viewer, for more details, kindly visit the Journal Anthropological Museum Port Blair. Our team is waiting for you all. And thank you for your patience. And once again, we wish you a happy International Museum Day 2023. Thank you. Bye-bye.